Hey, what's going on guys? In this video we are going to see how to use the method of lag range multipliers to determine the maximum value of a multivariable function. Here we have a multivariable function, also we have a constraint equation and when we have these two, what we do is we find the critical points using this one. Now let's see how we do that. To find this one we use this equation that is gradient of f is equal to lambda times gradient of g. Okay, let's see what this represents. This is like when we we take the partial derivative of f with respect to x and then we equate this one to partial derivative of g with respect to x and then we multiply the g partial derivative with lambda. This lambda is the Lagrange multiplier. Now let's do this one and we do the same thing for y. Okay, now let's do the partial derivative. Here we take the partial derivative of f with respect to x and we equate this one to lambda g partial derivative x. Okay, now if I take the partial derivative of f with respect to x, this is going to become 2x and y is going to be 0 because when we take the partial derivative with respect to x, y is going to be a constant. So this is going to be 0 and if I do the partial derivative of g with respect to x, this is going to become negative 2x and this y is going to be become 0. Okay. Now also we have to multiply this partial derivative of g of x with lambda. Okay. So this is going to be lambda. And from this one we can solve for lambda. If you see, if we bring this negative 2x to this side, this is going to divide each other and we will, we will get negative 1. Okay, now after that we are going to do the same thing for y. We take the partial derivative of f with respect to y and also we, we take the partial derivative of g with respect to y and we multiply the g partial derivative with respect to y with lambda. And here we are going to have, if we take the partial derivative with respect to y this is going to become negative 2y because x is going to be a constant so that's going to be 0 and here we are going to get 1 okay this is going to become 1 but this is going to become 0 because x is a constant now here we are going to have plus 1 no let's <laughs> that's equal to 1 okay I made a mistake this is equal to 1 then we multiply this one with lambda and from this one we can solve for y because we know the lambda value already if we plug the lambda value here this is going to be negative 2 is equal to 1 times negative 1 and from this one we can solve for y therefore we will get y is equal to 1 over 2 okay now we know the y value but we don't know x value but here we have to know one more thing when we have constraint equation that can be equalized to 0 okay so we can bring this equation to solve for x now let's do that here y minus x square is equal to 0 and we know the y value already that is half so half is half minus x square is equal to 0 therefore half is going to be equal to x square therefore x is going to be equal to square root of half and that's going to give us plus or minus 1 over root 2 so from this one we are going to get two points one is when uh, when y is equal to half we are going to have positive 1 over root 2 and when y is equal to half we are also going to have x value negative 1 over root 2 so there are two points 1 over root 2 half and also negative 1 over root 2 half okay we have two points now to find which one is going to be the maximum what we have to do is we have to plug it in the main function and see which value like which is going to give the give the higher value from that one we can decide which is going to be maximum now to do this let's get rid of this part okay so here we are we are going to apply these two points in our main function our main function is this one f of xy is equal to x square minus y square now let's do for this point okay for this point we are going to have f of 1 over root 2 comma half and if you plug the values here x value is 1 over root 2 1 over root 2 square minus half square and if you do that you will end up with 1 over 2 minus 1 over 4 so this is equal to 2 over 4 2 over 4 minus 1 over 4 that's going to give us 1 over 4 and here we can do the second one second one is second point is negative 1 over root 2 comma half and if you do apply in this equation this is going to be negative 1 over root 2 square minus 1 over 2 square 
from this one we get 1 over 2 minus 1 over 4 so this is also give, going to give us the same value so from this one we can see both of them are equal values so we are going to have two maximum right so we are going to have maximum occurs in two places so we can say maximum maximum is 1 over 4 at 1 over root 2 half and negative 1 over root 2 half and that's going to be the final answer i hope this helps thanks for watching